Hi everyone and welcome to another one. Welcome to Program Code 101, the place where we learn the art and skills required to develop code. I'm your instructor, Mr. Decoder. In our previous video, we looked at the stages required to develop pseudocode. Emphasis was placed on the first three stages in pseudocode development. To see the details of that video, you can click on the link above, then come back to this one once you are through. In this video, emphasis will be placed on the stamp statements and input statements. We have different keywords that are used during the prompt and input stages of pseudocode development. For our prompt statements, we can use the keyword print, write, or display. And for input statements, we can use the keyword read, input, or accept. Throughout this video, you will see where the keywords print and read will be used in our prompt and input statements. A prompt statement is used to instruct the user of the program to carry out a specific task. Keyword print is used to indicate that the instruction will be displayed or shown to the screen or to your monitor. Examples of prompt statements. The format of a prompt statement shows that the keyword print is used as well as the instructions being given to the user. These instructions are enclosed in double quotation marks and it is important that these instructions are as clear as possible once given to the user. Here we have two examples of prompt statements. In our first example, we're seeing the keyword print followed by the instruction enter your first name. Second example also has a keyword print as well as the instruction enter your age. These instructions are clear and once presented to the user, they will know exactly what they're being required to do. An input statement is used to indicate that an entry is to be accepted via the keyboard. Keyword read as well as the variable that will be storing the item or value entered are used within the input statement. Example of an input statement. The format shows the keyword read as well as the variable name of the variable being used to accept whatever is entered by the user. In our example, we have our keyword read followed by the variable name fname as well as read and the variable name age. Here we have an example which looks at the use of prompt and input statements. Both the prompt and input statement are generally used as a pair in that there's normally an input statement after each prompt statement. In our example, we have two pairs of prompt and input statement. In our first pair, the user is being requested to enter their first name. In the second pair, the user is being requested to enter their last name. In both pairs, we can see that after each prompt statement, we have the input statement to accept whatever entry is being entered via the keyboard. Here we have another example which we will use to show all the stages completed so far. This example is asking us to write a pseudocode that is used to accept two integer values from the user. In our solution, the first thing that we need to have is our keyword start to indicate where program execution begins. After start, we need to declare our variables that will be used within the program. Now, based on the instructions here, we're seeing that two variables are being requested and these two variables are to be of the data type integer. Here we have our declaration. Keyword declare followed by the first variable name num1, second variable name num2 and these are both being declared as data type integer. Next thing we need to have is our initialization of these two variables num1 and num2. Because these variables are declared as integers our starting value for the initialization phase will be zero. Next stage is for us to request that the user enters the two numbers. So here we have our prompt statement, keyword print, followed by the instruction, enter two integer values. After the user is presented with this instruction, then the next thing for them to do is to make the entry that is being requested. And once that is done, this entry is accepted with the input statement. Here we see we have the keyword read, followed by the two variables that will be used to accept the values that are entered by the user. 
here we have another way in which the solution could have been constructed. So we have keyword start, and instead of using one line for declaration, we're now declaring using two separate lines. First line declaring num1, second line declaring num2. Our initialization phase is the same across both solutions. But if you look at the prompt statements, the prompt statements have been broken down into two separate pairs. For the first pair, we're asking the user to enter the first value. Remember that after each prompt statement, we normally have the respective input statement that will be used to accept the value or the item that is being requested. The compare is asking the user to enter the second integer value, again, followed by the read statement, which will be used to accept the entry that is made. In our next video, we will be discussing the process and output stages of pseudocode development. Thank you for being a part of another one. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, Take care.